Anyways, two balls. I hope you enjoyed the video. If not, it's like to be you, I guess. But, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. There we go. <laughs> Nice. The loud ass fucking YouTube countdown. I'm sorry for your loss of hearing, tubers. Nothing I can do. Once the shit starts, I'll pull up the volume again, obviously. So, Tubas, a question for you in the last 10 seconds. Will you pull for Xilonen, the weird ass fairy? I personally not. I want to see what you think about it. I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time, and too many things can go wrong. So, specifics aside. The Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind, so Auroron was indeed being threatened. Great goal, Malika. We're already off to a rocky start here. <laughs> I fuck hate this line. Oh, that's it. Not saying that she's gonna be bad or anything, she'll probably be okay as fuck. If she's trying to finish that ancient name, but there's only one place I won't. she can go. His soul is temporarily Ooh. restrained by us and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. Okay, new enemy. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? In the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. And once you've learned the truth that the pyro archon Malwika would never willingly share with you, you Ooh. may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. We have to make the decision for her here. Oh my god. Now. A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the rules, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Let's oh my god. Everything we've got. Yo, what the fuck? Actual war? What the fuck? All I wanted was to see her again. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. If I could go back, I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. You've experienced something similar, Malika. You should know exactly what I mean. Oh! Oh my god! This shit lit, man. This shit lit. First code already. Fun fact. The code down below in description. You don't have to write shit down. Okay? Just copy paste the shit. For GX2D. Okay, good, perfect. It also will be on my Discord. Join my Discord. Um, I try to make the thing alive as much as possible. So if you join there, it would be good. More people to talk to, you know. Plus, I share always codes there, new events, web events, all that stuff. We play different games there as well, like ZZZ. I love ZZ. I got Caesar. Who like Caesar? I like Caesar. Oh my god, it's raw. Hello, travelers. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 5.1 special program. My name is Gabe, and I'm from the Genshin Impact localization team. And I'm Kai. I'm also from the Loke team. And we'll be your hosts for today's program. 
we're usually translating Genshin Impact behind the scenes, so it's an honor to talk about the latest. That's kind of interesting. I'm they pretty stoked actually could not get any voice like this. Totally. I'm sure that everyone else is just as because of that stupid ass project that I do. Then let's give them what they've been waiting it's for. It's so annoying. First up, Shilonen will be our new playable character in version 5.1. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Shilonen has a lot going on. Where should we start? Yeah, we she should looks probably like start with her profession. Of course. Shilonen is a famous smith from the Children of Echoes, one of Natland's six tribes. She forges all kinds of goods, like jewelry, vehicles, and weapons. You name it, and she'll make it. Cool. We've already seen some of her creations, actually. Oh, really? She created the Pyro Archon sunglasses and Kachina's Drill Turbo Twirly. You'll be able to see even more of her handiwork, including the weapons of some of our new upcoming Natland characters. Oh. Wow, she's forged so many creations. Okay. Yeah, and Weapons they're all good. really varied. She commands so much respect in Natland, but her job is really challenging. Yeah. What's her secret? Shilonen is a really skilled smith, but her work mindset is the true key to her success. As she likes to say, if you overwork yourself, then your mind and body will settle the score. Yep. You can't accomplish much while you're burned out. That's why she believes that it's important to take breaks. So what does she do during her time off? Well, for one, she likes to sunbathe in the tree branches. That's right. We saw her doing that before. Yeah, in the ignition teaser. Yes. But that's not her only hobby. She also likes to listen to music. Oh, yeah. That's a popular pastime in her tribe, right? I mean, absolutely. This, the real, this is the real. This is the music, kind of. To a record like, player. Cool. She made them so that she could listen. Just bring to music people lots of music. And the musical beats help her keep up. The geo forging rhythm. Lots of music. They're pretty handy. It's wow. It seems yeah, like her it's skill set is really convenient. Mm -hmm. And as a smith, her skill set also comes in handy for exploration. Shilonen actually forged some special equipment that make it easier to get around. Let's take a look. Great. More exploration characters, nice. Ooh, she's in her Night Souls Blessing attire. Cool. Yeah. Wow, she makes climbing look so easy. Yeah, she can even stop in the middle of her climb and Damn. take in the surrounding view. Nice. That's kind of cool. I bet she finds a lot of the inspiration that way. For sure. When she finds something interesting, she immediately springs into action. Oh, she's intense. Speaking of intense, let's discuss her battle mechanics. Shilonen uses special equipment in combat, too. See those three objects next to her? They look like gems, right? Well, those are samplers that were crafted by Shilonen herself. Okay. Oh, those are super shiny. They really suit Shilonen's design. Yeah, and their color can change. Unbeth. The samplers are aligned with Geo by default. But their element will change when you add Why Hydro, is last? Why? Pyro, what? Cryo, so or Electro characters to your party. For example, if Muolani is in your party, then one of Shilonen's samplers will become aligned with Hydro. And when Shilonen activates that sampler, she can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to Hydro damage. Oh, okay. Well, how do you activate the samplers? It's simple. When Shilonen has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, then all samplers will be activated. Mm -hmm. This reduces the corresponding elemental resistances of nearby enemies. Okay, I think I understand her kit now. Nice. Shilonen's abilities work best when there are at least two different Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters in your party. Oh, okay. Once you have an optimal team, you just need to activate the Night Soul's Blessing state and max out her Night Soul points. Exactly. These skills allow her to reduce multiple types of elemental resistance. Of course, Shilonen also works in teams with multiple Geo characters. If Shilonen's samplers are aligned with Geo, then her normal attacks and plunging attacks deal greater damage instead of rapidly accumulating Night Soul points. Oh, really? Shilonen also has a Nothing talent that should be helpful person. for exploring that land. When Shilonen is in your party, triggering a Night Soul transmission with one of your party members will allow them to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Cool. Shilonen's elemental burst deals AoE Geo damage, and if she has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then her burst will restore HP to active characters at set intervals. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all we have for Shilonen's skills. Yep. That's oh, not I much. forgot to mention something important. 
What is it? <laughs> ancient names. Shilonen inherited the art of ancient name forging. The Pyro Archon even appointed her to forge an ancient name for the Traveler. Ancient names record the deeds of Netland's heroes, right? It's amazing she can forge something like that. Exactly. New story from her. Natland cherishes its ancient names. Which is the, have the, honor the of being children recognized by past tribe story, I believe. And even fewer individuals have the ability to forge ancient names. Be sure to check out Tribal Chronicles Nanatskayan in version 5.1 to learn more about Shilonen yeah, yeah. and ancient name forging. And Someone just expected. like in version 5.0, travelers can earn extra primo gems and level up materials by completing Shilonen's Tribal Chronicle during version 5.1. Speaking of forging an ancient name for the traveler, at the end of the last Archon quest, the Pyro Archon made it sound My god, Shaska's way to old. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. The traveler is an outlander. So their also adventures that some in that land aren't recorded in the Night King. Maybe confirms that those deeds aren't recorded. Sigali and Chaska will be next going to be pretty tricky to forge an ancient name for the traveler. Yeah. No wonder Considering the they are both said, nobody's put into the spotlight that much. During the version 5.1 Archon the quest, fucking we'll have to figure out trap, how to man, overcome I'm dying. that I, obstacle. No, man, I can't. We'll also get the chance to meet Sitlali from the Masters of the Nightwind. Her tribe is said to be extremely knowledgeable about the Wyub. So she might be able to turn the tides in our favor. What yes. the fuck? Of course. What well, the fuck you guys? Name Wait, is she drunk? The obstacle. The nah, man, this is going to be hilarious. Remains, and it seems like Auroran, a mysterious oh, member no. of the Masters Auroran. of the Nightwind, is working on a secret plan. Ooh. There's so oh, much Oh, shit, he has two different eye colors? Travelers red and green? Or red and blue? Primo gems from this arc Electro? Right? Okay. <laughs> exactly right. Just like in version 5.0, Travelers can earn an extra 500 Primo Gems if they complete the Natlan Archon Quest Act 3 and Act 4 during version 5.1. But that's not all. Wait, extra what? rewards will also be available for exploring Natlan during version 5.1. Travelers can earn a total of 400 extra Primo Gems by completing related world quests and increasing Natlan exploration progress. Travelers who I mean, already reached the required amount okay, of good. progress in version 5.0 can directly claim the rewards during the new version. Okay, but that don't worry good. if you're more laid back about exploring new regions. These exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That means you oh, will good. have all of version 5.1 and 5.2 to satisfy the conditions and claim the rewards. That's fair. Can we expect similar rewards to become available as the map expands? But if in they say 5.2. Limited that means 5.2 we get no new area. Will be offered for all future Natland areas. Yes. Each time a new region is released, the exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That okay, way, that travelers true. should have enough time to explore the new maps and claim those extra primo gems. Each version comes with a ton of activities. You might even come across some opportunities for exploration during Watch certain people complain about the not Primo Gemis. So you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. <sighs> we should give the travelers well, me, an example. Good. No problem. In version 5.1, travelers will be able to take part in an event called Aphid Treasure Trace. Okay. They'll work together with Shilonen to track down and capture Phlogiston Aphids. It's not as simple as I make it sound, though. These creatures have been corroded by the abyss, which caused them to grow unnaturally large. Wow, is nothing safe from abyssal corrosion? Natlin's really going through a tough time. Tell me about I it. I mean, if they would Luckily, use a little bit of a better team, that would be reversible. nice, but I don't Start think they Start by unleashing will. attacks with your Also, like how the team is basically one of the characters. To break their shields. Once the surrounding shields are down, travelers can purify the abyssal energy inside of them. Elsewhere in that land, travelers who venture Nubos? into a specific underground cavern will discover a secret source automaton that was left behind by a lost civilization. That's cool. The That's a cool boss. The secret source constructor awaits all challengers. If you manage to beat this new boss, then you can earn special materials. I bet Shilonen would love to get her hands on the parts of that automaton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. That's basically a okay. essential material. We introduced our new character and the new boss. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the event wishes. In the first half of okay, version 5.1, travelers can look forward Chiori. to the event wishes for Shilonen and Chiori. Nice. The new five-star sword, Wait. Pink Patrol Song, will be featured the thing on the looks good. And in the second half of version 5.1, We'll have returning event wishes for Nahida and Hu Tao. Yes, and new four-star weapons will also be added to the weapon banner during version. Oh, new weapon! Okay. Keep an eye out if you're interested in them. Oh, I can't wait. 
but it's about time for our first break. See you cool. soon, travelers. Dude, that's nice. See you soon. I mean, I'm not gonna pull for um, the Foster Weapons, probably. But it looks interesting if I get the chance in future. Once again, tubers, in case you skipped forward some shit, didn't hear it the first time. Redemption code down below in the description, okay? Not in the comments, in the description. You press on the more button and then you will see a link where you can put it direct on Holy Labs so you don't have to log into the game. Or you just copy paste the thing and put it in game. You can do that too, up to you. Oh yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. I can't wait for the story, man. The story looks good Welcome again. Welcome back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone we can figure Sumeru. out where we're at. <laughs> yep, it's Sumeru City. Things are looking really festive. I'm a good, That's because I'm a we're celebrating now. Nahida's birthday in version 5.1. Oh! I still remember how the Sub-Zero's festival kept Who's repeating during the Archon Quest two years ago. Nahida couldn't celebrate her birthday because the Grand oh. Sage trapped her in the sanctuary of Surastana. Right, and Nahida's character teaser was so sad. Especially Don't remind me about the teaser, man. Of when I woke up, Not the flower I was carriage. riding in a flower carriage. Oh no, stop. Don't the say sudden that. change of music was so heart-wrenching. Definitely. Dude, that trailer still really gives me fucking PTSD, man. The academia and Nahida was able to earn her people's love, but we all feel like if you never have seen it, birthday celebration, right? I'm just gonna say, yeah, watch it. So, Look for an in Death Seizer. That thing is crazy. Code of candies and roses, oh, free candies! Get the chance to give Nahida the birthday celebration that she deserves. <laughs> all right, finally. Yeah, actually, I have a few <laughs> screenshots that I can share with everyone. Do you want to take a sneak peek at this Sub Zero's festival? Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, that's a lot of oh. people. It looks like they're secretly discussing something. Candace, they are this year, the Academia is organizing a birthday celebration mm. unlike any Where's other. Sino? Think of it as a small way to make up for their past mistakes. Plus, the Traveler has teamed up with a bunch of friends from Sumeru to be Nice. A Sumeru event. I like it. Oh, I can't wait to see her reaction. Of course, a surprise is only as good as your ability to keep it a secret. So don't give it away, Travelers. The flower carriage is another oh my important part no, of the man. Respect. Please let me have that in my teapot. This year, our Sumeru friends have created a miniature carriage to simulate the parade. That oh way, my God, it can I can't. go off without a hitch. That's so nice of oh them. God, trash and the carriage. traveler will serve as the knight of flowers during the real parade, oh! escorting the carriage along. No, the man. Wow, Don't so do that to me. The like my Nahida's heart, protector. I cannot take it. Yeah, it looks like God, the no, no. are oh also my God. involved in the festival. If you want to learn more about this year's Subzerus Festival, including the birthday surprise, then be sure to check out the event during version 5.1. Now, man, this is it's amazing. It's some memories sweeter than candied Agile Nak nuts. Travelers can also look forward to different types of gameplay during the event. Remember the parade simulator that we saw in the earlier screenshot? Travelers can take it for a spin during nah, the event. Nah, man. Rocking carriage. The goal is to control oh my the God, look at this of shit. the carriage to avoid obstacles while gathering as many flowers as possible. Collect we have subway surfers. And you'll be able oh to obtain no. a higher score. Nice. In the second event, in a reflection of reality and dreams, travelers will enter unique dreamscapes, oh. search for anomalies within the dreams, and fix them. Oh, now, dude, so that's base. Like that's fucking hell. Oh my game. god, that's good. That's one of my specialties. <laughs> that's a nice event, event. Shadow of the Night's Blade, the Knight of Flowers must eradicate evil on behalf oh my god, of the Silo Gentle Archon. Oh no, please Earn don't. points by defeating as many enemies as possible within the time limit. You can even increase Wait, your is performance that C6? level and earn buffs Could by enough? satisfying special conditions during the challenge. Uh, that's C1 Chiori at least. Of if not C6. Bring it on. <laughs> Oh wow! Why the fuck Looks is he like jumping? Someone's excited for the Subzerus festival. I hope travelers feel the same way. Hey, I'm sure they will. In addition to Nahida's birthday celebration, version 5.1 offers other exciting events. In Feast of Pursuit, travelers will be able to earn rewards by completing various challenges. They can even choose their own difficulty setting. Oh, cool! 
Each challenge comes with unique buffs. Use them wisely to clear the challenge as quickly as possible. <laughs> You'll find tougher enemies at higher difficulty levels. In Reminiscent Regimen Thrill, travelers will team up with each other in co-op to tackle a challenge with four random stages. Oh, cool. Each challenge will mm. feature different reminiscent reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Each player can choose a strengthening buff before entering a stage. You can give your team an advantage by choosing a buff that works with the specific stage design. It's all about optimizing your teamwork. <laughs> Absolutely. After completing the challenge, travelers will earn thrilling stars based on their performance. Be sure to gather oh, thrilling stars if you want to claim the corresponding rewards. New Invisage Echoes challenges will also be added okay, in no, version 5.1. Travelers will now be able to obtain echoes for Zhongli and Keqing. Whoa, Zhongli's echo is really cool. I'm going for it. echo is also beautiful. She leaves a trail of flowers behind her. That's not my wife. <laughs> Whoa, save some excitement my wife. for our other updates. During version 5.1, a what few familiar faces oh will also God. be added to Genius Invocation TCG. Travelers can look forward to new character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Cool. Version 5.1 is absolutely packed with events. There's even the Aphid Treasure Trace event that we introduced at the beginning of the program. That's not all. There's an old friend we haven't seen in a while. Wait, do you mean... Lieben! That's right. Lieben will be back in version 5.1. Just like always, nice. travelers Good can exchange their items for primo gems and level up materials. I even heard that Natlin's specific materials will Ooh. be available during his latest visit. Yeah, also, then I know all what I'm going for. for the version 5.1 events. That means it's about time for our second break. You got it. We'll time for the last right back, travelers. Down below, once again. PT. Oh my god, not the song. Koyo, I fucking hate you sometimes, okay? In case you don't know, that is Nahida Jingle something. But it's somewhat of a remix, I guess. But so heartbreaking. No, you can't do that to me, Hoyo. Not my daughter Lee. You should watch Nader's demo as well while at it. In my opinion, banger song. Okay. The same. Welcome back, travelers. It's time to jump into the system optimizations. Oh god. First up, a skip feature will be added to the spiral abyss. Oh yeah, we can now this skip. Change allows to... you to skip floor nine in the new update yeah. if you obtain full stars on floor eleven of the previous spiral abyss. We can Obtaining now skip nine and ten. On floor twelve will allow you to skip both floor nine and floor ten. Hopefully, this change will create a smoother experience. That sounds so convenient. Yeah, That's I much know, better right? for abyss races as, as well reminder, because less loading times. Rewards from the skipped floors will need to be claimed manually. But floor rewards such as domain reliquaries will be distributed automatically when you open the Spiral Abyss interface. In addition, oh you God. can now open multiple domain reliquaries at once. Nice! We don't have to keep opening them one by one. Yeah, that's Continuing cool. Continuing with more optimizations, the filtering and sorting logic of the character artifact interface has been improved. The system will now remember your artifact set filters so that you don't have to set them every single time. You can That's also sort by affix for an individual artifact slot. Those preferences will also be saved. That will make it a lot easier to filter artifacts for each character. Totally. The character ascension mechanics will also be optimized in version 5.1. You can they now have quite see a bit the of moral. amount of certain materials directly in your inventory. A feature will also be added to the crafting bench that allows you to filter recipes by character ascension goals. Yeah, that thing is very good. This will allow you to easily This is a thing I'm very happy about. This will make it a lot easier now, to find to the materials for specific characters. For example, if I want to upgrade Molani, do I don't know what the fuck she needs. Crafting bench. So going to that, I Version see everything will also directly in front of me. It's just perfect. Be sure to check out future announcements for more information. All right, travelers. Some of you might have already noticed, but Genshin Impact turns four years old tomorrow. 
We've had yeah. an incredible journey so far, right? I started like Let's four or five days late. Has taken us. It's so, time to relive some amazing You know? Memories. Let's do it. I have soon my birthday too, which is kind of cool. My Genshin birthday. Ooh, enemy time. Ooh, cool. If you only was like that in game, man. Passing memories. Lumina is a cutie. I don't go fuck what everybody says. Lumina is a cutie. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's cloudy. That's what you me can't see. The, scene the funny part is, they can show basically every character, just not Fischl, because Fischl never really appeared. Except TCG. The rest is just event, which is annoying as fuck. Please, Soyo, make my wife permanently. I think. My, my eyes are open, okay? Hoyo, you show her now, okay? I don't give a fuck. You shown some events, you can show her too. I don't give a fuck. Oh my god, Sasbedo. Those who remember, remember. I don't see my wife anywhere. Hoyo, stop with the shit, please. Travel through infinite dusks and knows. Break the strong tide to reach the other side. I hear about your last Motherfuckers can show gaming, but not my wife. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, my heart. Stop the Mahida sadness, man. <laughs> there was no fish shown. I'm so pissed, man. I swear to God, Hoyo fucking hates her at this point. Man. There's no way. Like, you you cannot make this shit up. They've shown so many events and whatnot. But guess what? They did not a fucking show my wife appear anywhere. So stupid, man. It impact. makes no sense. Hey, happy birthday! <laughs> like, dude. Wow, it's already been four years. She has Where's the best the band gone? in Genshin really fucking history in the so last four fucking years. Okay. All those scenes. There's that fight against Storm Where Terror, the, fuck the battle of the Jade Chamber. Is it? Hida saying goodbye to Greater Lord Ruka Devada. 
the masquerade Ten, of the guilty. Where the I know. Is it? And I'm definitely gonna have like, that they shown, song. They shown Join Me Story 2, okay? That's exactly Contain what story. I did with the Natland they shown, Symphony performance. Um, Lantern Ride, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a place to announce that Natland's first OST album, Land of where? Play Ayatol, is about to be released. The album contains like, three discs featuring seven like and eight original of people tracks only that composed for Genshin Impact. The 2.8 event. We can we saw nothing about it. 1.1 event, we saw nothing about that one too. Yes. TCG, they completely right. ignored it apparently. Hmm. Even though it's technically that part of Genshin 2. Like all the information we have to share. Nah man, that's means fucking violation. It's time for the special program to come to an end. Is there anything you want to say before we leave? God yeah, for damn sure. it, man. Well, I think there's so much cool content coming in this version. And hey, come on, fourth anniversary. That's so huge. Yeah. I mean, we've put so much work into this game over the years. And every version has been special. But I got to say, 5.0, 5.1, these have been great. Exactly. I mean, seriously, Genshin Impact is, is not only a game to me. It's my work. Mm. It's my life. Right. I play Genshin Impact every day. I talk about Genshin Impact every day, and I interact with players online. It's all these years. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Totally. Totally. So if I have to say something this time, we are truly, truly grateful that you guys, our players, are continue playing this game. And yeah. we are just as excited as you guys for what's coming next in the game. Awesome. Yeah. No, totally agree. That's so great. Well, well <laughs> unfortunately, that was it's time cute for us to say. say goodbye. Once again, thank you so much for all of the support over these past four years. Hope to see you in game. Bye, everybody. Bye. That's it. That's a cold buy. I just gotta say, that's a cold buy. They just said, buy and it's Jova, okay? That's kind of fucking hilarious, but... Well, um... Events look okay -ish. Nothing too crazy about there. The only thing that was pretty good is... Um, basically, the other thing, what's it called? Um, the Nahida one. That, that looks fucking fantastic. I'm happy for that shit. Um, Fish was not shown anywhere. That's annoying. But we get new Archon Quest, which is pretty good. Looks interesting. Um, can't wait to play that one. Follow me on Twitch. If you haven't. Subscribe to my channel here. Maybe I will upload shit. I'm I'm not too sure I'm lazy. Okay, I'm, I'm very lazy. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun to me. If it's not fun for you, it sucks for you once again. Anyways, I hope you have a nice day, morning, evening, whatever the fuck you have. Have a good one. Take care of yourself. See you maybe in the next video, whatever that will be about. And...